In this video we're going to recreate the bass preset from Striker Pose by Young T, Bugsy and H. Okay, so let's start with Oscillator A. We've got basic shapes, analog, basic shapes, and we are using a triangle wave, which is wavetable position three. We've got asymmetrical minus on, and we're going to bring that to about minus 54%. We are minus one octave, and the unison we've got on two with quite a wide detune of 0.18. We've got the level on 70%, the random's completely down, and the phase is on 57 degrees. So now let's bring in oscillator B. We've got a sine wave, which is basic shapes again, in analog basic shapes, and the first wave table position. Minus one octave. The level we've turned down to 59%. The random's all the way down, and the phase is also on zero degrees. This is just adding a bit more low end. We're also going to open up the table edit on oscillator B and we're going to bring the first bin all the way up and bin two we're going to bring up to about 13% or thereabouts. This is just adding a little bit more harmonics to this sine wave. So to get that sound that you hear in the track, they were using a formant filter, which is in Miss Alenius Formant 2 we're using for this one. And it took some tweaking, but I think I've got it quite similar to how it is in the track. So I've got the cutoff on 33 hertz. And I'm trying to get this back on 33 because it is quite there we go, 33. It is quite a precise sound and slight changes in this filter do change it quite drastically. So the res uh, the resolution I've got on 5%. Drive I've got quite high, I've pumped it up to 87% and the formant we've got on 83%. So as you can hear now it's adding quite a lot of high end as well and that's these spikes in the filter. Also to add, down on the voice in we've got it on mono, legato, we've got the portamento on 69 milliseconds and I've switched always on. So what we're going to do now, I'm just going to add a little bit of sub on direct out and I'm using a triangle wave minus one octave on 82%. Just adding a bit more to the sound. And now we want to get rid of that high end really. So what I'm going to do first is switch this filter on that I've got at the end of the chain. And this is just on MG low 24, so it's quite a steep slope. The cutoff we've got on 718 hertz. The resolution is on 4%. The drive is on 5%. The fat is on 68%. The mix is all the way up. And the pan is on 50. So this is getting rid of a lot of that high end. So let's go back up to the distortion effect. We've got it on diode 2. We're not using any filter and we've just got the drive on 24% and the mix is on 34. This is not going to add a lot to the sound. Just adding a tiny little bit more weight to it. Okay, so next up the compressor. We've got the mix on 100%. Multiband is on. The high band is 124%. Mid is 133 and the lows 121. I've got the gain turned quite a way up, that's 11.7 decibels. The reason for this is that when we're using triangle waves, it's, it always seems quite quiet. So I'm just compensating for that with the gain on the compressor. The release and the attack, I believe I've left at 90 milliseconds. The ratio is on 7 to 1 and the threshold is on minus 19.7. So with this you can tell instantly what difference it's making. I 
A lot of that is the volume change, but it is compressing it nicely. Bringing out the areas that we want to bring out. Okay, so with the EQ, what I've done, the low, I've just got a little bit of a bell curve around 236 hertz. This is just pushing up a little bit. Just bringing that noise out. So about 10.5 decibels is fine for that on the gain. The Q I've got on 48%. And for the second half of the EQ, what I've got is a, another low pass. I've got the frequency on 484. The Q is on 47%. And the gain won't do anything when it's on low pass. So again, we're just cutting a bit more of them high ends and bringing a bit of these low mids out. And I think that is it for the preset. I'm not doing anything with the envelope or the LFO. So that's the preset done. Thanks for watching. As usual, the resources are available on my Facebook page. Check the description below for the link. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share. And remember to subscribe and ring the bell to keep up to date with future videos. See you next time. Mm -hmm.